Hello everybody, it's me, Dana. It's May 16th, and the energies are lighting up. If you are sensitive in any way whatsoever, you've been going through some serious things in your mental, physical, and emotional state in the last couple of weeks. Those of us who are very sensitive have really been feeling it in our bodies, joints and aches and pains especially. And I've mentioned this before, seriously. Um, by mid-afternoon, I've been feeling like I'm 100 years old, and it's crazy. It's like the, the healthier I feel in the morning, the, the older I feel in the afternoon. It was quite strange, and it's hopefully going to let up in the next uh, couple days. I hope, I hope, because uh, I've been waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and having to do uh, yoga and stretching, and, but also grateful that it's a nice, quiet peaceful time to be up and um, receiving messages and just kind of being in the quiet and stillness before all the noise starts outside. Um, the, me the messages I have been getting have been coming in faster and a little clearer and I'm sure this is not just me who is um, experiencing this. Now if you really want to understand what is um, just chatter from your mind? And what is your, your higher self, your intuition, your soul, your spirit, your gut, your instinct, whatever you want to call it? Those messages, they're subtle, but they come and they're, you know, they're there. And they make you feel good when they come through, right? And the other stuff that makes you, you know, question and doubt and go back and forth and rationalize and that's your head that's all that's all in the head okay when it comes from the soul from the source uh, when it's an enlightened epiphany that's that's your higher self trying to tune in and get you to raise your levels raise your thinking raise your vibration and hear it more clearly and that is how you do hear it more clearly. When you are happy, when you are in love or above, as one lady says, when you, that's the frequency you're in. You're appreciating things. You're walking down the road and you're going, wow, look at that flowering tree. Look at that bush. Holy moly, did you notice that beautiful woodpecker that just flew over by and sat on the pole in front of us? Um, there's so much to appreciate in the people who are walking by if you have the eyes to see it. If the door is closed on your eyes seeing and appreciating things, then the world is close to the magic and the color and the beauty, okay? So open the door on your heart and open yourself to a whole new world, a whole new reality. Put down all of the thoughts that have gotten you what you got. Unless you like exactly what you got. If you're exactly impressed and things are perfect and A-OK -okay and you absolutely could not dream or imagine it being better in any way possible, hey, keep going, you're on the right track. If that's not what you're experiencing, well, then you need to change your thinking, okay? So, change your thinking, change your thoughts, bring in some new ones. How do you do that? Well, put down the old ones for a while. Seriously. You need to learn how to turn it off so that the new ones can float in. And challenge all of those old thoughts and beliefs because you know what? They're most of what you've been taught and led to believe from television, newspapers, and the generation before you and the education system is BS. It's inside out. It's upside down. It's backwards. The magic is in the mirror. Flip it around. For example, most of you think that the laws out there protect you. 
in reality, most of the laws are walls that stifle you from expressing yourself, your creativity, your uniqueness, your individuality, from dreaming, from planning, from growing. That's what most of them do. So you flip the word law around and it is a wall. And most of the laws are walls for us to be stuck in boxes. If you're not, I mean, if you have not come across or experienced or um, been fined for a ridiculous rule or law or known somebody who got the, a ridiculous judgment in the legal system, well, you must be a hermit and living underneath a rock because almost everyone on this planet has experienced that in one way or another. You're walking, talking, evidence of it all. So, now that we're all talking with each other and sharing information, instead of being divided and separated and enforcing the laws and the walls that keep us divided and separated and from our growth stunting and our creativity and our hearts soaring and our imagination and our uniqueness and finding our soul and our purpose and our true identity in this life. That time has come. It's now. The dark ages are over because there's so much light, beautiful energy being infused onto this planet through the people and the beings who have volunteered to be here and to be connectors to bring in more light to remove this darkness. We've been amping it up so that the darkness can no longer exist. You bring enough candles into the room, it's not dark anymore. And there's one heck of a league of candles here now. All right? Beacons of light, lighthouses, light workers, light beings. And you are all starting to see them acknowledge them and really understand their presence and why it's here. It's here to help you discover who you are, to understand more of what it is that you see and how it can empower you and change your life in big ways. If you're tuning into this, you know you know what I'm talking about. You see, your sixth sense is waking up. Your ability to see auras is amping up. Your ability to tune in and see energy fields within a person. Dancing colors of energy. And see who they truly, truly are. Is changing your world. No, you're not seeing things. No, it's not your imagination. It is real and it is magic and it is who you truly are. And it's time that you stepped into your powers and discovered your unique gifts. Don't you want to know what you can really do when you've got your power amped up and working? for you because up until this point most of you have been using it to keep yourself stuck you have powerfully been manifesting crap now you can powerfully manifest magic if you don't know how contact me smilingconnections at gmail.com for personal sessions to uncover the diamond within you. Smiles to all of you, everybody. Amping up, lighten up, and enjoy this new energy and revealing time here on the planet. That's me.